Hey devs, I'm back again today and I uh, have to do some more work on the DroidCon Boston app uh, for the conference which is coming up next week and I wanted to take this time and just kind of walk through what the process can look like to improving your overall APK size and a number of the tools that we can use to do that. So a couple of things that we're going to take a look at are analyzing the APK size so you know how big it is, removing unused resources, converting uh, PNGs into more efficient uh, WebP format. And so if any of that interests you, stay tuned. We're going to go ahead and walk through all of that right now. So I have opened up the project here and kind of the first thing I want to do is to generate um, a release APK so that I can analyze the APK size. So I'll do that by pulling up my terminal, doing a slash cradle w assemble release. So that will run the uh, assemble release gradle task, and that will give us a release APK that we can uh, analyze the size of. And that will take a minute here. All right, now that's done, we can analyze the APK size. So we can go to build analyze APK, uh, and then we can navigate to the uh, the APK that we just generated, which we'll do here. Let me just kind of switch over the list, make sure that's the one. Uh, oh, yep, OK, that's good. So we'll hit OK. So now this will pull up the uh, analyze view here. We can see here that we have uh, the total APK size, 5.4 megabytes. So this is a really small application um, since it is just a conference app. It's not necessarily doing a whole lot. Um, download size only 4.5 megabytes, but we can still use it to illustrate uh, some of the things that we want to do here. And I'll point out here that we have this compare with previous APK option. Uh, so this you can use to actually then load uh, your older APK and compare the size of them, how they've grown, what has changed. So we'll do that kind of at the end of this, just to see if any of the stuff we're doing has actually made a noticeable improvement. So for now, we'll look at 5.4 as a baseline. So go ahead and close out of that. So one thing we can do is go to uh, refactor, remove unused resources. That'll pull up this little dialogue here that will ask us if we want to remove unused resources. Rather than just immediately hitting refactor and removing those, I'm going to click preview so that we can actually look at what is being removed before it's actually removed. So we see here we have this items to be deleted list. Now, not all of these are things we actually want to remove. So a lot of these launcher icons uh, will often appear as not used because they are defined for the adaptive uh, launcher icon. So we're not going to mess with those because in some configurations, those may in fact be used. But we can look through some of these domains here. I'm not too worried about these right now since they're likely not going to impact our APK size at all. Uh, we do have a PNG here. This is definitely not being used. Um, and so actually, I'll just go ahead and delete that right now. Cool, and so we see once we delete that, it shows up as invalid in this list. Uh, launch around, we'll keep that. Um, this uh, Twitter logo, Blue 40, and Icy Star, those can safely be removed. So we'll jump to those as well. Uh, delete that. Delete this one as well, there we go. Okay. Um, so that seems to be it for the most part in terms of um, any images, which is what I'm mostly concerned for right now. So there weren't a lot of images there that were unused, thankfully, so that's not going to really have much of an impact on the overall APK size. Um, so the next thing I want to do then is look at possibly converting some of these PNGs into compressed WebP, which is a more efficient file format. So if we go and look in our drawable folder here, we see that we have um, a few of these. So we see here is a placeholder icon in a lot of the, the list item views. 
And right now it's set as a PNG, um, and it is 53.43 kilobytes. So not huge, but um, we can still probably do better. So to convert a PNG into a WebP image, you can click on uh, the resource, and this will work for multiple resources at the same time or for a single one. So for this first time, we'll just look at a single, and then we'll convert uh, multiple after this. And you can right click on that resource, and then you can scroll down here to the bottom and you see this option to convert to WebP. So we'll select that. This then pulls up uh, this little dialog right here. So here you can choose either a lossless encoding or a lossy encoding. I'm going to choose the lossy encoding, which is the default here, and then choose an encoding quality of 75%. Um, in a lot of cases, like this should be good enough for your asset. Uh, WebP is really efficient. Um, it's more efficient at compressing than either PNG or JPEG, but still uh, maintains transparency like a PNG does. So it's uh, partly why it's so useful to us as Android developers. So I'm going to start off and 75% in lossy encoding. Um, you see an option here to skip file where the encoded result is larger than the original. So that obviously would be counterintuitive to what we want. Um, if it's going to be a larger file size, we don't want to convert it. And then in this app, our current min SDK is 21. So we don't need to worry about skipping images with transparency or alpha. However, if you are working in an older app um, and you don't have a min SDK of at least 18, then you will have to take into account whether or not you need that transparency or not. So here we can go ahead and hit OK. Then it'll allow you to do a preview. And we see if we're looking at the original versus uh, the WebP, not really seeing any significant degradation there. And yet we're seeing that the original was 52.2 uh, uh, kilobytes here, while the WebP version is 12.3. So it's only 12.3% of the original size. So that's a huge saving. And again, this one specific icon, not a big deal, but if you start thinking about a lot of icons or assets in your application, if you're saving you know, 75% of the file size, that is a huge saving. So this is a really useful tool towards uh, diminishing your overall APK size if you're currently using a lot of PNGs. So I'm happy with this conversion, so I'll go ahead and hit finish. And I'll go ahead and hit uh, add there. So now, like I mentioned, you can convert multiple files at the same time. So I'll go ahead and select all of the PNGs that we have here, which we're using in our social uh, page within the app. And then again, I'll come down, convert to WebP. We're going to do the same 75% lossy encoding. We'll hit OK. That looks good. That looks good. OK, we'll go ahead and accept all of these. And hit Finish. And then go ahead and hit Add. Awesome. So now down there at the bottom, it'll actually show you 1.5 kilobytes saved. So again, very minor savings here, but if you had a larger app or more assets, uh, that would add up over time. Okay, so now that we have removed a few assets and uh, converted some PNGs into a more efficient WebP, let's just go ahead and walk through what it would look like to now compare the the newly, hopefully smaller APK to the older one. So down here on the desktop, I just have stashed the older release APK. Now I'm gonna go down to my terminal once again, oops, and going to do a a new uh, assemble task here to generate a new release APK. And of course that will take a minute because it's a Gradle and anytime you're assembling it takes a while, even in a tiny app. All right, there we go. That's pretty quick as things go. So now again, we'll go to a build, analyze APK, and we're gonna select this newly created APK. So again, we see APK size 5.4 meg, download side 4.4 meg. That looks pretty much the same. If we click on compare with previous APK, we can go to desktop and we'll select the previously saved APK. We'll hit open. And so now if we look at this little dialogue here, you can see the comparison between the two. So we see 
The total difference is 42.8 kilobytes, which is nothing major at all, but it is something. More interestingly, we can actually see that as you scroll down here, it'll actually give you um, a really detailed summary of the old size and the new size. And so you can use this to compare the size of libraries, assets, um, and really can help you understand where your savings is coming from. So you see right here in particular in the uh, res directory, that's where we had 42 kilobytes in savings. And you can actually start to scroll down and see where some of these are coming from. So in particular, in this case, all the savings was really coming from the uh, no DPI uh, directory, a little bit from the plain drawable directory, but you can see how this tool is uh, really helpful. All right, so that's just um, a quick walkthrough of what it can look like within a, a real like, production application to go in and uh, look at whatever your current APK size. A couple tools for uh, reducing that APK size, whether that's through removing unused assets or converting PNGs into a more efficient WebP format, and then taking a look how you can actually go about uh, comparing the size of the old APK to the new one, and actually even comparing uh, really uh, at a fine level between you know resource directories and configurations and libraries of where your APK is changing size over time. So I hope that was helpful. Um, maybe you can use this in your current application and just see you know, what unused resources you have or take a look at any PNGs you have that maybe can be converted over to WebP. If you learned something new, leave a comment down below and I will catch you in the next video. Until next time, devs.